His Excellency the Governor of Karnataka, all my senior colleagues on the dais, of the dais, and my beloved delegates who had come across the globe and across the country. I stand before you this morning with a great pleasure that when this idea of Global Cancer Summit was conceived, few years ago we were wondering how to go about and do it. As Dr. V.P. Rao has already mentioned, the globally across increasing burden of cancer, we are noticing it. And today we are aware by 2050, 27 million cancer patients in the world. Out of that 50% will be in India and the other Asian countries, indicating the magnitude of the problem we are going to face. Unfortunately, our dynamic health minister was not there. We wanted to appeal to him. They should participate along with the other organization to see how this 50 percent by 2050 we can bring down the incidence of cancer in this country. We all know that cancer is not a disease of the modern century. It is very old one described in Egyptian puppies and Shishruta Samitas and today we have seen the various changes. We all know in cancer that it was started off as a concept a century ago. It is a misguided cell. Today we call the cancer as the disease of genes and molecules and it's a dialogue between the culture as well as the molecular changes which is taking place. So we have to look for 2050. Our purpose of organizing this meeting is, you can see the theme, what is written here, United We Stand. Today, cancer cell is not a domain of any one of us. Cancer cell is like a small, <clears throat> what you call as a knuckle, and a, we are all the like the pearls attached to that, so that every person dealing with cancer is contributing something for the understanding of the disease cancer, either in the form of a basic research, or in the form of a diagnostics, or in the form of a therapeutic aspects of it. The purpose of this meeting is bringing everybody together who care for the cancer cell and how to understand that cell what when the disease process after the understanding the biology of the cell we know that how we are to go into the insight after that today we are in the era of molecular theranostic what we call as molecular uh, things in diagnosis molecular things in therapeutic purposes and beyond this, we also we heard some of the lectures in the morning. It is not only the allopathic system for medicine, as I told, every human being concerned in knowing and understanding the cancer, we want to bring it under one roof. And today we know integrative medicine and integrative oncology is coming up in a big way, especially in a country like ours. Recently, the government of India celebrated the International Yoga Day keeping that in mind, understanding the disease body and mind and various uh, <coughs> cognitive changes which is going to take place in the human body. We have to utilize our own systems of med uh, medicines like yoga and other things, bringing in understanding the spiritual hypothalamo pituitary axis in giving a good quality of care. The purpose of this meeting is united we stand, bring all the people come together bringing the translational research into the reality along with the clinician, be it in the form of a radiation, medical oncology, or surgical oncology, or anything else. And we also utilize the CAM as today's new terminology and the buzzword coming up, integrative oncology, utilizing all our own systems of medicine, how we can give the quality care to the patients who are suffering from cancer, and can we prevent it, and can we cure it. Cancer is curable. We all know that one third of the cancers are preventable, one third of the cancers are curable, one third of the cancers are amenable to palliative treatment. With this in background, I once again welcome all of you to this meeting. Participate, give your inputs, what comes out of it later we will see can we use it to recommend for the evidence-based strategies in the management of cancer. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen.